Hi, I'm David the Unruly Pig, and I'm just going to show you a little technique today for a French trim a lamb rack. We've got a middle section of the, the lamb here, the rack, that we've taken from a whole lamb. Um, I'm just going to show you a little technique that we use for French trimming down. The first thing we need to do is trim down the bones. I use uh, my hand whip as a, as a guide, so I don't like the bones to be too ridiculously long. Just going to score that there. And we've got our marker. that for a braise and bones here and mark where we want them even bone all the way up and then need to release that from the bone as much as possible so I've got the tip of my knife right up against the bone the more we can release it at this stage the easier it will come away These are really flavourful little bits of meat. Great for making the sauce. Note that we choose to uh, trim the trim the rack up on the bone here as a double rack. This way, it just provides a lot more strength and stability. To the piece of meat, shells get clean and bone. Just releasing it a little bit there. It's already quite clean. Just a little method to help finish off and get a nice clean bone. Take a piece of string. And we create a slip knot so by making a loop here and then pulling it through. We now have a slip knot. Put it onto the bone, nice and tight, and then yank it towards you. And that will create a nice clean bone on the finish there. So two hands, slip knot by pulling it through, round the bone, nice and tight, and then pull it off. And it just grabs hold of the sinew. It might need a little clean afterwards, but it just helps get that tricky, tricky bit of fat off, which can be a real pain when you try to scrape it clean. You'll need good butcher string to do it. And 
much quicker way, get a nice clean finish on our land rack to the traditional scraping method.